Thursday things we're making Thursday things we're making Thursday yeah Everybody, my name is Shannon and welcome to my channel another yarn today as you heard by the jingle it's Thursday and Thursday what we do on, on my channel anyway is something a little bit different I work on a pattern that has been picked out by a collaboration of wonderful YouTube content creators we're all working on the same free pattern and in doing so, we can help each other out if there's any issues or problems with the pattern. We can compare yarn choices and anything else that we choose to. It's a lot of fun. It's really a great creative outlet to have so many people working crocheting on the same project. So the project that we're working on this week, this month, is this gorgeous shawl. This lacy shawl is a free yarn inspiration pattern which is linked down below and it was originally made with a Barnett four number four weight worsted weight yarn well I don't want to use a worsted weight yarn how would you think I mean really I'm going to use what the pattern calls for okay sometimes I do all right but I had this beautiful mandala string right okay see gorgeous colors right look at that brand new colors that I got at Hobby Lobby for $6.49. I got it on their sale week, 30% off. You can also get this on the Lion Brand website for the full price of $6.99. Don't pay that. Lion Brand's been having 25 and 30% off all their yarn sales, so definitely do that or go to Hobby Lobby or something along that line. I mean, if you have to pay the $6.99, by all means. But search around, get it on sale. So this is my third ball. I did buy three balls. This is my third ball. The pattern does call for approximately 1,000 yards of a worsted weight yarn. I think that would be a huge blanket shawl. I forget the exact measurements that are on it, but I think it would be quite large. You can see this. Look at that. I mean, isn't that just stunning? Here, let's go ahead and turn that around so you can see that gorgeous. Isn't that just beautiful? Look at that. Yeah, that's just, oh, I have been having so much fun. Um, I'm not going to lie. This pattern has been kind of a bear. It's not, it's not the best. Oh, my, sorry about that. I had to start coughing. Didn't think you wanted to see that or hear that for that matter. So the pattern has given us, well, quite a few of us on the content creator side, a little bit of a problem. It's, it's just an oddly written pattern. You have a lot of the the double triples. All right, so that's easy enough to do the stitches themselves, right? You're wrapping your yarn around your hook three times and then working it off two at a time, just like you would a double crochet until you've run out of loops. That's, that's fairly simple. That's fairly easy, right? Well, the problem comes when you have, see how these stitches right here are stacked on each other? So they're two clusters of five. Generally, if you're doing a ripple, or, or some, something along that line in crochet, it's a very defined where that space is for those five. Normally it would be a shell, like a double crochet or something, but it would be very, very defined. I think because the stitches are so long and then you can see, let me see, you can see where the hole is right here, right where I got the crochet hook. Now, does that go to the stitch to the right of you or the left of you? And that's where it looks funny because when you're trying to put those five double or five uh, double triples on top of each other, they're not always stacked. They they look like they're you know on one side or the other, so it's a little harder to see, and it's caused some issues. So we'll end up with an incorrect number at the start of the row where you're adding on more of those shells, which is just an odd formation on how that's done, because it's reminiscent of a bat a lot of people have called it like a bat shape and it does kind of look like that so I'm not gonna lie at this point I'm on my third ball I've gone through the entire chart that they have up to around 11 row 11 and then it's written words after that I've pulled it out a couple times where I've had issues I'm not doing it anymore what I do now is I'm not done 
is I come over here on this edge and whatever I do to these five double or five cluster stitches, right? You know, so if I've got spaces in between here, I count how many I've done, how many solid stitches, and I make sure on the other side, I do the same. The pattern might say that I'm supposed to have four stitches. I might have six. I don't care. I'm not pulling it out. I'm done with that. So as long as I consistently keep that, the stuff in the center, I've got that down. I, I'm pretty good with that. That's not an issue. And then when you come here to the, the very center point, I'm doing the same thing. I, um, if I don't have the increases the way that it's called for, I don't care. Uh, it lays flat. It looks pretty. If I'm off two or three stitches at this point, this is the fourth week into the project. I've got next week, I'll have this one done. I'll have my other project done and we'll be announcing the new project. I'm not spending any more time on it. I've spent enough time on this. I think it looks stunning the way it is. If somebody comes up and they count my stitches and they say that I have a wrong counting stitch, that's not the person I want to talk to anyway. So that's just my take on it. If you decide to do it, give yourself permission to fudge it a little bit. It's okay. It's yours. I mean, it's beautiful. So what does it matter? I like it. So last week, if you did watch when I was working on my shawl last week, I also, because I was procrastinating with it, because, you know, I ran into some issues and I pulled it out. Mm, it's a thing. I started the owl basket. I got a little bit more done. So yeah, I like this height of it. I did. I made it a little bit higher than what it was last week. So I did put some on it. I, um, I can't remember if I was using an I hook or an H hook, but I just put some more rows on it with an H hook. It kind of seems like it's coming in a little bit. This is double stranded, limited edition, probably not the smartest move on my part. It's really hard on the hands doing those front post, back post, but wow, this is a nice container. I'm thinking of maybe doing another one. I've got uh, at least three colors of this limited edition. And I'm thinking of maybe making a couple more baskets, different sizes and do the stacking thing. But then again, I don't know where I'm gonna put them in the house. So, or give them away as gifts for that matter. That might be a good idea. But I really like the decor fashion factor of this. And this pattern is also linked down below. One of the reasons I did uh, two patterns is if you're part of the collab, it's great. It's very, very low stress. Feel free, join the Facebook group, look around, ask some questions. There you go. You don't have to be a content creator. If you would like to have your picture shown and you're not a content creator, send them to any one of us that are part of the group. We'll put it in our video. Find someone you really enjoy. There's a lot of people linked down below that are doing this and see what their take is on this shawl and other projects. Well, some people didn't have a use for the shawl, didn't want to make it, didn't have time to make it. They're working on Christmas presents. A big shawl just didn't fit in the cards. So there's quite a few people that decided to do the owl basket this month instead because they really liked it or maybe they just didn't do it. They weren't part of the group at that point. It doesn't really matter. So you can do any of the patterns and they're, they're again, they're linked down below that we've done. It doesn't have to be the pattern of the month. You can come and go as you please. Nobody's going to kick you out of the group. Just join and do the things that you want to do. One of the nice things about this particular collaboration is since we're all doing the same project, we can help each other out. The other part is it, it broadens your horizons. A lot of times the patterns are picked might not be something that you would necessarily choose for yourself, but it's a stretch goal. It's something that really, it gives you something else to strive for. And you feel that sense of accomplishment that you did something you didn't think you could do. And I really like that about this particular group. It's been a lot of fun. This is my second month with it. I'm going to obviously continue. It is, it is a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to, just like everybody else, finding out next week what our next project's going to be. So in the next video, the final Thursday of the month, we announce for the next month. So that way you'll have the opportunity to get a chance to get your yarns ready, download the pattern, join along if you want to. You can join and not tell us, that's okay too. Or just watch us, that's fun. Uh, so 
it's been a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to next week to see what our next thing is, to finally wrapping this up, finishing this, finishing the owl basket, and moving on to so many of my other projects. Remember, we are already well past half August, and if you make projects for Christmas, you need to start now if you haven't already. You really, really do. December is so much closer than you think. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for listening to my Things We're Making Thursday and my beautiful shawl. Wouldn't this make a fantastic beach cover up? I mean, oh my gosh, the colors on this. Thanks again, everyone. You have a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be. Bye-bye. <laughs>